These are the parts you'll need to construct this. And here we have the firewall. Um, the only hard drive that I have that actually has a name. Well, this was created by another mock page user whose name I can't remember. So I'm going to put a link to his version from mock pages in the description below. So check that out if you so please. As for my version, let's just go straight to articulation, starting with the feet. They, they can't really, they, they move around in the ball joint, but they're, they're ultimately just kind of useless. I just think they're kind of, kind of cute that he has like little, little, little feet that stick out of his tiny body. As for the shoulders, ball jointed on top here. Um, it can swivel this way with the shoulder armor, but he just kind of flops down, so it doesn't really help all that much. Here at the elbow, really strong bend. Wrist, swivels all the way around on this ball joint. Fingers, same as the last hard drive, can bend in here and can bend here in the palm. But also in the palm, there's a separate joint for the thumb. So if you want a more natural looking thumb, you just kind of have his hand like that. And I'm going to do the same for the other side. I just, I love, I love the way this guy looks. He's my favorite hard drive because there's a lot of reasons. First of all, his face. Look at that face. Like, it looks like he's got, like, big, pudgy cheeks. He's always like... <laughs> like, a guy, his eyebrows, too. They can't move. I wish they could. But it just looks funny. But it, it, it fits the look so perfectly. Because, like, the x are meant to be defense guys, and he looks so gruff. Like, I, I just like the way that looks a lot. Also, I like... The jetpacks here on the back really fill out... They fill things out. Because if you look at him from the front, and you just see like this little circle with arms coming out of it, it looks kind of dumpy. But you see there are jetpacks back there. Look at it from the side. It's like, oh, he's got some, he's got some mass back there. So that's kind of cool. And the hands are so articulated and just so fun to play with. You can have them point at you and other things like that. I, I just find it's so much fun just posing him. I normally just have him posed like this. Just with just giant hands and a little guy there. Now, one day... I Don't hold me to this. I really want to do it, but don't hold me to it. I want to make a separate hard drive to act as legs. So I can just kind of plug the other one into the bottoms of these feet. And just make like an actual giant humanoid robot. Which I think will be a little, little too easy. Like, you kind of expect that for something that's just a pair of arms and a torso. But... One day I want to do that. It's really obvious, but I want to make like a really anime-esque robot out of something like this. So, yeah, that's that. Um, for a little bit of a comparison, I'm going to bring out the other hard drive, who is in a very wacky pose. Yeah, also if you've noticed, um, I'm this is kind of my fault because I probably should um, make this more of a... Um, consistent thing the number of eyes doesn't really matter much because you would think oh he only has two eyes but he's bigger than this guy who has three eyes and i probably should fix that because it doesn't really make any sense he gets more number of eyes the bigger you are and it doesn't really make any sense something i want to rectify in the future with more hard drives if and when i make them okay so this is shadow gear 635 and tomorrow we're going to have the hard drive version of a zeta bite so see you guys tomorrow